Hey guys, Jonathan Grimm. Well, good morning, and today I'll be showing you how to fold this new model I designed, and it's an origami vacuum cleaner. It is um, the quietest vacuum you can get, and also it's recyclable, so let's fold it. We'll make from one square of paper you use, so we're going to make that. So here we go. Get away from here, bug. So you're going to start with your square of paper, white side up, and fold. this is an 8 inch square, just like you made this one out of an 8 inch square. So to do this, you're going to fold it diagonally in half both directions. First like this, unfold, hopefully my lighting doesn't cast any strange shadows because I'm outside, and unfold. And now we're going to take these, we're going to do a kite base, we're going to bring this edge to the center crease. So I'm going to try to keep this into in frame here if I can. Uh, hope I get good uh, creasing. So you basically make a kite base, okay, like that, and there. So both sides are folded to the diagonal crease in the center to make it look like a kite. Now we're going to flip the kite over, up to bottom, and we're going to fold this point up. This tip will lay on the crease, but we're going to make it go right to these points here. So you're just going to fold it up all the way like this. Now you're going to unfold. Now we're going to fold it, do some creasing. We see in the middle here we have an intersection of creases. We're going to bring this edge so it meets the middle. And this point is going to go on this crease here. So I'm going to fold this side in and I'll show you. So I'm going to fold it in and you can see how this Create this lines up here, and this edge here lines up on this intersection of creases. And now we're going to flip, turn it this way, and do the same. This edge goes to there. This point will be on this line. So I'll just um, whoops, I tore my paper slightly, but it's all right. It'll still work for today's video, hopefully. And yes, make sure you don't tear the paper. Now you can see we have it lined up here and up the middle here. Now we're going to take this flap and fold it up here to, to this flap here and fold it up. And after that, we're going to fold this behind for the moment. Now we're going to make a, do a valley fold. Now you can see we have a diagonal crease here and a diagonal crease here. We're going to make a valley fold going all the way across between these two creases. So I'm going to do that right now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold this back up so that this is along the edge here. Unfold all the way. Now we're going to take this, pleat it, and bring this pleat to the crease we just made. And bring this to the crease we just made. Like that. Now we're going to take this and fold this in. We're going to do like a squash. You can see this edge here. We're going to fold it up to that edge. And just squash it down. The lighting's not very good. There you go. Squash it down. Like that. Sorry guys, the sun is kind of hard to see, but there you go. You're going to do that on this side as well, folding it in, in, and there's sort of a hidden point where it stops, and that's where you fold it into. And then you have your creases there. I'm going to just give this a good crease this way. Now we're going to make the bottom part of the vacuum. So we're going to take this side and fold it right over this edge here, as far as it'll go. And both sides, basically right here, as far as you can fold it. See that? I folded it in as far as I could. Crease it well. Unfold. We're going to fold this point, these corners, to these corners. So we're going to take this and fold it. So these corners meet these corners in the back here. And now we're going to form the bottom. We're going to unfold and we're going to see this little crease here. We're going to do a little crease here, valley fold. And bring this up so these two line up. And do the same on this side. So you can see, if you made like boxes and stuff, this is basically the idea. Like a box. See that? Now we're going to take this and tuck it inside. 
of the box like that and that's the bottom of our vacuum cleaner and now we're gonna make the top part so we'll do the same we're gonna fold these in as far as they go and fold this one in as far as it can go and unfold and we're gonna fold this point down to this to right there to the tip of that and crease it well on the top unfold and now we're going to do another box fold. We're going to do right here is one side and right here is the other side of the box. Now we're going to fold this in and under the box like this and fold this back out. Now we're going to make the handle of the vacuum cleaner. We're going to take this and make a crease going from this point to the tip to narrow the handle slightly. We're going to fold this back in and fold this back out over the edge here. And now we're going to rabbit ear this. And the way I do it is I just take this and pinch it together all the way down to the top. And there's a little handle. Now we're going to just do a little reverse fold The lighting isn't very good, I know, but I wanted to do my video outside and there. And now I want to make our hand a little less pointed, so I'm going to just round it off a bit, fold in a bit at the end. And there you have it. There is your origami vacuum cleaner. And you're ready to, um, you know, if you have a dollhouse or Barbie can uh, vacuum her dollhouse with your vacuum with her own vent. Now Barbie can have her own little vacuum cleaner. So hope you're able to make that. Uh, the lighting wasn't the greatest, I'm sorry guys, but just um, um, I hope you enjoyed that and see you next time.